While Charleston, Charleston mourns and prays for racial harmony, there is once again controversy over a powerful symbol of disunity. Elaine Quijano in Charleston has that part of the story. Elaine, good morning. Good morning. South Carolina was the birthplace of the Civil War, the first state to secede from the Union. And here, especially, passions over the Confederate flag run high. The flags of the United States and South Carolina flew at half staff over the state capitol. But the Confederate flag remained at full height. It's against state law to touch it. Governor Nikki Haley was asked about permanently removing the flag on CBS this morning. There will be policy discussions, and you will hear me come out and talk about it. But right now, I am not doing that to the people of my state. In Charleston, some think the time for that conversation is now. NAACP National President Cornell Brooks asked for meaningful dialogue about the scourge of racism. We say this not because we're trying to sow division, but rather because we're trying to sow unity. A unity of purpose, a unity of commitment, a unity of resolve so that we confront the racism in our midst. And that means, certainly symbolically, we cannot have the Confederate flag waving in the state capitol. Those who want to keep the flag say it is not a racist symbol, but rather a piece of their heritage. Opinion falls largely along racial lines. 73% of whites feel the Confederate flag should stay. 61% of African Americans say it should not be flown on the State House grounds. We all have to be on the side of those who lost their lives in a church. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes. The flag has to come down. Reverend Joseph Darby was born and raised in South Carolina. I'm over 60 years old. I remember when the Klan marched behind that flag. I have seen those rallies. It was put up at the height of the Civil Rights Movement, and it was done so across the South, and the implication was clear. What do you see when you see the Confederate flag flying? Uh, rape, torture, terrorism, murder, subjugation. President Obama has said he thinks the Confederate flag belongs in a museum. Benita, the accused gunman, was driving a car with a Confederate flag license plate.